Hi, this is John Clements. Welcome to the UMass Fruit Advisor. Today is July 3rd, 2007. Happy 4th, by the way. And we're at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard. And I'm in a sweet cherry, a dwarf sweet cherry orchard that was planted in 2001. Um, we're in the middle to the end of the sweet cherry harvest season. There's a couple of cherries I wanted to show you that we're just harvesting now that I find very interesting. The first is Sandra Rose. Uh, Sandra Rose, as I understand it, is from British Columbia. These are on Gisela 5 rootstocks, um, a fairly compact tree, and the cherry quality I find to be very high on the Sandra Rose. I have seen a little canker on it, so that concerns me a little bit, but at this point I'd highly recommend it for planting here in the east. Um, the second cherry I wanted to talk about was is, is Benton. Um, Benton was formerly Columbia, but Washington State couldn't get a, uh, a trademark patent on that name, probably for obvious reasons. But uh, Benton also seems like a really nice cherry. It's had very high soluble solids for us here, about 19-20%, which is very high. So I'm also impressed with Benton. Um, I should mention that I've already harvested um, white gold and black gold, which I've been very impressed with this year. We have had a very good cherry season here in the east. The te June temperature was about two degrees above average. We've had minimal rain, so cracking hasn't been a problem. And both white gold and black gold from Cornell's Geneva Experiment Station, introduced by Bob Anderson, have been very nice cherries this year, too. So impressed with those. Um, next week, I'll be picking Balaton. So maybe I'll give you an update on Balaton. Um, I also wanted to say that this year um, we installed some uh, netting. Birds are a real problem here in the east. Um, we installed some netting over part of this orchard, and that's been a real uh, blessing in terms of minimizing bird damage and improving the quality of the cherries. In the unnetted orchard, um, the damage is, has been near 100% by this point. Of course, I've kind of started to neglect those. Where in the netted orchard, uh, damage has been minimal and the cherry quality has been very high. This particular net is a monofilament um, I bought from SmartNet Systems out in British Columbia. It was relatively easy to install and I'm convinced now that if you're going to grow sweet cherries here in the East Coast that you pretty much have to have the bird netting. So a quickie here on the UMass Fruit Advisor looking at a few cherries. Um, again have a happy 4th of July holiday and we'll see you again soon.